Hey y'all, this is Leslie, AKA Sister Slaya, here with Katma at the New Jersey Horror Con here in Woodbridge, New Jersey. Oh my gosh, we were having a ball. I want you all to take a look at this outfit that Miss Katma has on. She is getting a lot of love with this Chucky outfit. It's your rendition of Chucky. Yeah, the men are really loving her today. To be fair, I just want to be friends with them. Till the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. So we're really excited to be here today. We are like looking at everything that has to do with horror. I mean, you think about horror is here. We have a uh, Father Evil. Oh my gosh, Father Evil, I totally love this guy. I saw him in Sleepy Hollow. He is like a big... He's becoming up and coming here in New Jersey and in the East Coast. Uh, my husband loves him. And uh, who else? Who do you want to see here today? Um, I want to see Lisa Loring. I want to see there's so many people. I, I want to go back to check up on people who wrote the books. I actually interviewed uh, Elliot for his books from last time. So, like, I'm really excited. I did see a very creepy Pennywise running around here, and I'm a little scared. <sighs> Yeah, oh yeah, there is a lot of clowns here today. And if you know anything about me, I hate clowns. I mean, there's a lot of them running around. And I know too that there's like an anniversary of people under the stairs here today. So like the whole cast is here. If you don't know anything about that movie, that was like one of the first horror films that took place in the hood. And it is an amazing movie. You gotta rent it. I think you can get it on Netflix or Amazon Prime or any of those things. And what else are you looking forward to seeing here? Um, I just think I also want to see the cosplayers. I love the costumes, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just excited to be here because I I love horror. It's it's where you kind of just get to be anything that's not you. You get to have fun. You get to play around, have fun while you laugh and cry and scream. Exactly. I mean, I really feel like at home here. Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> nah, it just makes you more fun. Oh, thank you. Stay tuned and watch what we have coming up. Hi, this is Leslie again, aka Sister Slayer from the Bitten Apple here at the New Jer Jersey Horror Con, and I am here with Mr. Ken Saggles and uh, his son Joshua. And I don't know if all of you all know him. This is like old school horror here. But on uh, Nightmare on Hel Elm Street 3, we had a really, we had a black superhero. And it was in the auspices of Mr. Reginald Kincaid, who had special powers, who could fight off Freddy Krueger. And I totally remember that movie. That movie changed my life because not many black people were in movies at that time. But to have a black character have a super power to fight off uh, and to be a foe, I mean, to be a really formidable foe. Two, it's Freddy Cougar was really amazing. Just tell me a little bit about that role, um, how iconic that has been for you. I mean, you've got a lot of fans coming around here asking you to sign stuff. What are people really saying about your character as uh, Reggie? Well, Ken Cade was everybody's hero, especially the minorities, because I'm also the first African American to ever survive a major horror film and return to a sequel. And so, Ken Cade, my character, became a hero to a lot of the minorities and a lot of females and because he wasn't only just a uh, character in Nightmare on Elm Street, he had strength, he could back his words up, he could talk trash and yet he stood up, he faced the enemy, you know, and he went out there and he did it, he wasn't afraid. I think that that was the most amazing thing about that character is that we got to see him in the next movie. We got to see him in the next movie, and that just made me so proud when I was a kid to see that. I was, but you, I had, you have your son Joshua here right now, and uh, Joshua and I were talking about you have um, an organization that you have about. Uh, um, tell, tell me a little bit about your organization. Well, I was one of those kids growing up that didn't have, and I had. I come from the community of uh, the the uh, in Atlanta called the Bluff, and I was one of those kids that didn't have. And I promised God and I promised the community that if I ever got to a place, I was always going to give back. I realized that I'm where I am because I'm a lot of wind beneath me come from my ancestors. So I like to pass things on. I like to give back. So in 97, I started an organization called the Giving Back Corporation where I pay for young people's books when they go to college. I sometimes send kids to camp. I have you know, bought Christmas toys, and whatever needs to be, pass it on. And so that's what I wanted to do, is to pass on everything. So whenever I go to a um, convention, everything goes back to kids. 
because I want to give back to people like Joshua, like those before me gave back to me. You wrote a couple of books right there. Um, tell me a little bit about these books. So this one's The Great Migration. This is called The Great Migration, and what it is, it's about, I use birds as an example to represent different races because of different birds. And it's about a sparrow, one of the smallest birds in the world, that leads a great migration of birds from all over the world. And, you know, and that's, to me, it represented slavery, it represented migration, it represented everything. And so it's, it's, it's a part two of it now, and there's talks about it becoming a, a movie. So it, you think about the eyes are on a sparrow, and they do, which is an African name that means king leader, and that is the sparrow's name that leads to great migration. And how are you passing this legacy on to Joshua? Tell me a little bit about how are you helping your dad right now? Well, as far as um, you know, the organization, we're giving back corporation. Um, I feel that it's very important to, you know, pass things on to the, the next generation that's coming up uh, under me. Because I understand that he had people uh, who helped him, and uh, he had people who helped me. And uh, it's just an uh, emotional. Uh, it is. That's very emotional. Um, I'm very excited about the fact that we even have a very spiritual conversation here because as an actor myself, it's very important to understand that you don't get to a position unless you have a greater power behind you. And it's really good to see that you're giving back to the community, especially any community, um, namely the African-American community. I'm a kid from Ferguson, Missouri, so I understand that. And um, your son is very proud of you, and that makes a lot, that says a lot about you as a person. It is. So how many of these conventions do you do a year? I do at least one or two a year. And, you know, and I'm actually going to uh, United Kingdom, Liverpool, United Kingdom, because this is the 30th year of the Dream Warriors now. And so there is also a Kincaid fan club in, you know, in Taiwan. So this character became internationally long, known. And, you know, so I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of that legacy. Well, I'm grateful that you graced us with your presence because what you have done is you created history for me and for a lot of people who are actors, but African-American kids who said that they could fight back against something that was unknown, and that's a power of evil, which was, of course, Freddy Krueger. You know, you, you, you made my day giving me this interview. Based on what you said, I, I don't think I created history, I followed a path that history left for me and I chose to walk down it. Oh, I like that. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sagos. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Mr. Sagos, how can we find out a little bit more information about what you're doing, about the Give Back program and everything? Can you tell us where your website is? Yes, it's the Giving Back Corporation. And you can contact me number-wise through 310-226-6198. Or you can go to the website at www.gbc-givingbackcorporation.com. Thank you very much. Hey guys, this is Kevin here from Bitten Apple TV. Here is my girl Leslie, and um, we're basically enjoying ourselves at New Jersey HorrorCon, and it seems. Okay, look! Oh, oh monsters! Toys! Oh god, I gotta s stay away from the sewer grates, kids. I hate clowns.